What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing the life of a security guard. If you guys know, because I shared this in previous videos, I'm working security now, which is something that I've been working on a little over a year now, starting with whenever I quit my retail job, which I absolutely hated, and then I went to try to get my security guard license, and I shared that whole journey with you guys. A couple months ago, I shared the video whenever I got my job, and now that I've worked this job for a couple months now, I really enjoy the job, I actually love it. That's why I wanted to share a little bit of the life of a security guard now that I've worked it for the past couple months. So I work security in a casino that is 24 seven in operations. I actually work the night shift, which I honestly love. Everything about it is awesome because there's a lot more to do. Incidents can happen a lot more and it's always more active with more people coming into the casino. Anything can happen. No two nights are exactly the same, which is exactly why I love working nights. Now with the one thing with me working at a casino is I cannot share specific details on specific incidents on here. I will not be able to share anything like story times or anything like that because I can't share details of any operations or anything that happens relating to any customers or guests that come in. I just can't share any of that with you guys. So don't expect to see any of that in future videos whenever it comes to my job or anything like that. But today I'm gonna to be sharing just a few of my duties and what it is like being a security guard. So a couple of the main things that I do as a security guard is number one, at the main entrance, we're basically watching everybody who enters into the building, making sure that they're not underage. Anybody that is under the age of 30 or looks like they're under the age of 30, we have to ID, which a lot of people hate getting ID'd, but that's how we have to control it. We can't let people in that look like they're under 30 unless we ID them. And they have to be 19 years or older to enter. Unless they're coming in to work, then they can be 18 years old. So the main focus at the main entrance is IDing people, making sure nobody under age comes into the building, and also counting everybody who comes in and everybody that leaves the building. So we have little clickers and everybody that comes in, we have to click and everybody that leaves, we have to click. We write the numbers down and then we have to give them to the podium just to make sure that we are not over the amount of people that the building can hold. The next one is being on patrol. This basically means that you are patrolling the whole interior of the building, walking the gaming floor, making sure that number one, nobody is intoxicated, everything is going smoothly. If guests need help, we have to try to get them the help they need. If anybody has questions, we try to answer them or find somebody who can answer them. It's honestly pretty easy being on patrol, but whenever it's dead, there's nothing to do. That's when it's okay. But for patrol, there's other tasks that need to be done whenever they arise. So for example, if you are on patrol, if an escort comes in like a contractor and they have to be escorted somewhere or somebody that is registering to be self-excluded, which means they are basically banning themselves from the casino and they're not allowed to come back in, we have to escort them to the first aid room so they can get processed. Whoever is on patrol is the one that has to do the escorts. Also, anybody that is on patrol is also responsible for completing any table fills or table credits. A table fill is basically where the guard will go and take the chips from the bank into whatever table is requesting the chips. And then a table credit is wherever a guard will go and take chips from a table back to the bank. It is pretty easy to do, but they actually come in quite frequently and you might have to do a whole bunch at a time. So you'll have to go do one, complete it, go and do another one, complete it until they're all done. While on patrol, you may be requested to go and see if anybody is intoxicated or deal with an intox. So if somebody is intoxicated, you have to handle them and you have to appropriately kick them out and make sure they get a ride home safely. If there's somebody that comes trespassing that is self-excluded, which means they ban themselves from the casino and then they show up, the cameras will hit and then whoever's at podium will notify whoever is on patrol to go and find the person and give them the paperwork and kick them out again. Sometimes you might have to add extended time depending on if they've done this multiple times, but usually things go pretty smoothly. Whenever it's dead and there's no self exclusions, there's no escorts, there's no table or credit fills, then it's pretty easy to be on patrol. You basically do washroom checks, pit checks, which means you just walk through the each pit where the gaming tables are, make sure everything goes smoothly there. And then you can go and do mag checks, which means all of our doors that are open for fire alarms. You just make sure that they're all locked and ready to go. 
basically if an incident were to arise you go and check the smoking area making sure nobody has any drinks out there alcohol any glassware stuff like that if they do you just ask them to bring it in so basically you just walk the gaming floor and whenever there's nothing going on it's pretty relaxed and pretty chill but whenever things happen usually they happen in waves and it's in a big storm so a lot of stuff can happen at one time other times it's pretty dead the next is working the podium, which the podium, there's only one guard at the podium at a time. Usually they're only there for about one hour at a time and then somebody else comes to take over that position. But usually at the podium, it is basically the center hub for everything security. If a table fill or a credit get called in, it goes to the podium and then they have to dispatch somebody. If the buyer calls and says there's an intox, it goes to the podium and then the podium has to dispatch somebody. So basically you're dispatching whichever officers are available. You're getting the call, writing down all the information that you have and then sending somebody to wherever they need to go for whatever they need to do. So that's mainly what you're doing. You are watching the cameras. Well, I, I want to say watching the cameras, but we have our own surveillance team for that. So you're basically watching the cameras for the areas that the security guards need to go into. So for our dispatch, for anybody that's coming into the back that needs to be let in, we let them do that. And basically that is it. So those are the three main posts for security guard. There is for main three. So the main entrance is the front of the building. Main three is actually downstairs where the horse track is. And that position is only open whenever the horse track races are going on, which is only Sundays and Thursdays. And there also is a restaurant part where the guard will have to basically stand by the entrance of the restaurant, which is in the casino, making sure that no minors can go through because the restaurant is open to families on Sundays. So the guard only has to be there on Sundays, but the family can actually enter in through the side of the casino into the restaurant alone, but the guard has to be between the restaurant and the casino entrance. So that's where they have to stand and making sure nobody enters and you have to ID people. So pretty easy there. Other tasks are turning on the escalators in the morning, which is pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. You just go get the key and you open it up, turn it on, pretty simple there. Uh, inventory transfers, lost and found. Uh, so if you find any loose currency, it goes to the podium and then whoever's on patrol may have to go and take that money back to the main bank. And if there's any lost to found that gets brought to us, whoever's on patrol will have to do it. Now we don't do it whenever the items come in right away. We do wait a little bit, see if anybody picks them up, and we'll take them all at once. We might take four or five items back to our dispatch to log them into the box. I might do that all the time. Every time we get one single item, we do not go and take it. Other things we have to do are the table drop, which means we take all of the money out of the tables. We just take the boxes out, go around each pit, and put them in a cart, and then bring them to the back. So that takes usually about half an hour, 20 minutes if we're doing really good. And then there is about a two to three hour slot drop, which means the count team, which counts all of the money from the slot machines, they come out with these big bins, they go around the casino and they go into each section and two guards minimum have to be there for them to start opening up the machines. And basically all the guards are doing is making sure that no guests are walking through, no employees are walking through. If they try to, we have to try to stop them. Now we cannot physically stop them if they walk through. We let them through. There's nothing we can really do about it. We just have to make sure they don't do anything to the machines. But for the most part, you're making sure that they do not enter those areas while the machines are open. So those are the basic tasks that I have to do. I shared most of the ones about the night shift. Everything that I shared right now has to do mainly with night shift. Working day shift, there is a couple more things that you have to do. Working swings, that's whenever main three, which is downstairs for the horse track and the restaurant security is open. Usually for nights, they're not. But at the start of the shift on a Sunday night, it can be still open. The restaurant and the horse track, depending on how late the races are going that night. So it can be a little bit different working night shift, but these are the main tasks that I have to do working night shift. And honestly, after a while of doing them, they come pretty easy to you. They are pretty easy. It's not that hard of a job, but there's a lot that you have to remember, a lot of policies, a lot of steps that you have to follow, and a lot of things that you have to remember for the whole job. So whenever I started this job, it was a little frustrating for me. And I honestly was thinking that I couldn't do it, but after working it for months, it's a lot of fun. 
very easy to do. If I need help with anything or if I have any questions, I just ask my coworkers. So it's pretty easy to get the answers I need. The supervisors are a lot of help, not like my last job working retail where the managers didn't want to do anything for us. The supervisors try to help out as much as they can. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention is medicals. A medical is basically if a guest or an employee gets hurt or is sick in any way, the security guards have to all go to the area where the medical is happening to see what is going on. There is certain guards that are EMRs, so they deal with it. They're basically like first responders, but I may be requested to, if I'm the closest one to get the first aid kit, the big, heavy, almost 100 pound bag, I would have to go and get it or whoever is the closest has to go and get it and brings it. Basically, if it is a severe medical, we are basically doing crowd control, making sure that everybody is pushed back, all the other guests are far enough away that everybody can be handled appropriately. But if it's something that's minor, usually the guests will get taken to the first aid room, get assessed there, an ambulance may have to be called, and then we're basically making sure that nobody's in the way of the ambulance whenever they come up. The ambulance, we'd have to escort them to wherever it needs to be. But all of the other guards do not stay there the entire time. If it's something that is pretty minor, all the other guards will go back to wherever they were. The supervisor will stay, an EMR will stay, and maybe one other guard, depending on what the case is. But usually they get brought back to the first aid room and get assessed there, just so they're not on the floor and they're not in the whole gaming area, and there's not a crowd being drawn around whatever is happening. So... Those are all the tasks that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot more. There is a few different things that I likely am forgetting, but this is security in a casino. So there's a lot of stuff on the go. Like I said, no two nights are the same because intoxes happen. People show up intoxicated. Sometimes people try to fight. People are losing money. Self exclusions happen regularly where they're not supposed to be there and they show up. So we have to kick them out. Usually they're pretty cooperative, but sometimes they are angry about it. Maybe they say that they didn't know or whatever the case might be. Medicals don't happen so much on nights, which I'm happy for. Usually they happen in the afternoon shift when the restaurant is open for the longest. So not much else that I can say, but working security, working nights, I honestly love it. It is more relaxed. Uh, it can get chaotic at times, but it's something that's manageable for me and something that I can do and it just comes naturally for me. Honestly, I love my job now. I love working security and that's the main point that I wanted to make in this video is I wanted to share some of the stuff that I do as a security guard now, but I wanted to also share that I honestly love my job. So in my opinion, life as a security guard is going pretty great right now. I'm honestly enjoying every moment of it. This is honestly a big difference from back when I was working retail. I love it so much more. Back then I hated my job, I hated my life. Now I love every minute of it and being a security guard is awesome. It's a lot of fun and everybody that I work with is great. So that's why I'm really enjoying life as a security guard right now. Job's great. What we have to do is awesome. The coworkers are great. The time there is great. The time just flies by, honestly. Before we know it, it is halfway through the shift. Come three o'clock, we are not called for any table fills or escorts or anything like that. It's just the table drop and then the slot drop. So it's a pretty easy night after the halfway mark. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. This is just me talking about my job and how I feel working security and sharing my life as a security guard with you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.